So the day has come and we are going to officially move this studio out of my house into this space, which is a basement. So this room that I've been working out of for just over two years now, I moved in in December 2021, is very different than the new space we're going into. First off, it's a room above my garage. It's all one room, which means the place I mix is also the place where I smash on drums and turn amps up really loud and shoot videos. It's complicated to make a space like this work for everything. And then also not having it look like a mess. I'm sure you can relate. Now this next space that we're moving into is a basement. And the cool thing about it is it's a bigger general space. So the control room is gonna actually be bigger than this room. And we're gonna have extra rooms, which means we'll have a recording booth. I'm gonna call it recording booth because it's technically a bedroom, but it's a smaller bedroom, so we're just gonna call it a booth. In that booth, we're gonna put drums, we're gonna put an area to record acoustic instruments, vocals, so that people can go in the booth and we can shut the door and record in there and actually be in the control room and get sounds through speakers, which is something I have not had the luxury of doing in my own home studio ever, I think, actually. This will be a first, I'm really excited. It's outside of there being more space in an extra room. This room is what's called an A-frame room, which means your, your ceilings do this weird and unfortunate thing. It's kind of cool sometimes, but the unfortunate part of this room is that the ceilings angle really steeply, which means the floor space here is about 19 feet by 19 feet, which would be really great if the ceiling didn't like hit you in the head once you got anywhere close to that edge of the room. So that's been kind of a bummer here. The cool thing about this room is that actually up above me, the center of the ceiling goes up to nine feet, actually just a little tiny bit over nine feet, which is cool because I can mount stuff to the ceiling and it feels like it's up and out of the way. Now the new space, the difference is the exact opposite where we have more floor space, you know, no A-frame walls, but the ceiling is lower. It's, I wanna say seven and a half feet. Functionally, one of the biggest differences, obviously, is my studio's not gonna be in my house, which is a huge change. Gonna be, I think, positive. I think it's gonna be a good, great thing. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is pack as much as absolutely possible. So we're gonna start on that and pack every single thing that we can. And it'll be interesting to see how much that actually is. When I moved into this room, the way that I went about treating it is I used a acoustic stretch system. It's called fabric wall. So basically I went through and built all these frames along the walls and what you do is you pop the insulation into the frames and then you seal fabric into that frame around it. So the whole wall itself on each wall is an acoustic panel, right? It's imperfect. It's all three inch rigid insulation. So we're not getting a lot of low end control in here. Also, there's a stairwell at the back of the room. So it's totally not perfect. But right here in this listening position, it's pretty good. So that's what we're gonna go for in the next studio. However, we're not gonna use an acoustic stretch system to actually treat the room because the other big difference is the main control room is 
for sure not symmetrical whatsoever. So we're gonna use another company to actually design and build a combination of freestanding acoustic treatment and wall and ceiling mounted acoustic treatment. It's our friend Graham who has a company here in Nashville called Music City Acoustics. They've done a ton of the studios that I've gone and visited for studio tours. They're gonna design and outline the whole control room and booth for the studio. So all of the acoustic treatment is up. Unbelievable, it looks so good. Took uh, pretty much all day yesterday for them to uninstall. So now that the treatment is up, it is time to actually put this studio together, which means pulling stuff out of boxes, putting it in racks, connecting it all. Yesterday, Trey and I, mostly Trey, connected everything in the upward rack. So, well, not literally everything, but pretty much everything, at least on the back side of the patch base, which is the more difficult part of it. Today should be pretty fun, connecting stuff and actually hearing music come through these speakers, setting it all up. It's, a, it's the very exciting part, so I'm really looking forward to this.
It's great. Okay, so now we've got the drum set up. Before we get mics and everything totally finished, we're gonna actually do a custom pipe ceiling overhead stand. I don't know, we gotta come up with a cooler name for it than that, but I'm gonna get started on that now. See how it goes. Overheads, it's pretty sick, look at this. We can go full, full range. And we can obviously add more and do mono. Whatever, we do whatever. I think it's gonna be good. Let's get some mics on there and really test it. All right, so it's been a few days now. We've got treatment up. I've got the whole rig connected here, speakers, everything. We've been able to listen. I've had a handful of people come through and I think I can speak for all of us when I say I, we can't believe how great it sounds. For the scenario being a basement with low ceilings, we are not centered in the room. There's a big sort of cavity and a stairwell in the corner. There's a hallway open on one side fireplace in the back. It is not optimal structurally. You know, I think that just the way that Graham laid it out with the freestanding acoustic gobos, the big giant clouds, these are the biggest clouds I've ever had. Uh, a lot of treatment up here, as you can see. There's an extra eight ceiling panels. We've got panel on that side behind the speakers. That sounds incredible. All, all of us, everyone who's listened has been has been stunned with how, how great everything has turned out. So thank you, Graham and Music City Acoustics for working with us on this and doing such an incredible job. Just so you know, Graham um, at Music City, it's called, the company's called Music City Acoustics and they do this whole consulting designing portion with you up front and then you can order the panels. If you don't live in Nashville, you can order, they'll ship them right to you and you can set them up according to the design that they do. It's an incredible process. Now let's talk about the tracking room. The tracking room is another thing. We went all dark on the colors. We went dark panels on the walls. Graham put up uh, the scatter diffuser up on the ceiling. And I think Frank and I, who this is, this is basically a studio house that my friend Frank Romano and I use writing studio upstairs, full on studio downstairs. I think both of us thought that the tracking room was gonna be tight. It was gonna be small and it was probably gonna sound really tight. I don't wanna say it doesn't sound tight, but it doesn't sound dead, if that makes sense. It sounds incredibly well balanced. The drums sound unbelievable. The kick drum sounds massive in there. We've got mics up. We installed the pipe over the drum so we can mount the overheads, which is just nice. Something we're going to try soon is adding some microphones into the hallway because the hallway is completely untreated. It is just crazy live in there, crazy reflective. That's where I'm keeping all the snare drums right now. I want to get some mics out there so we can keep that drum room door cracked and we can get some room mic sounds. But right now, without the without the room mics, the drums sound awesome. I'm super happy with how it turned out. I'm actually able to get sounds now in this room while someone's playing drums and actually hear them through the speakers. It's incredible because I, I don't, if you didn't see, I did a video on my new interface, this Galaxy 32. I have a second digital mixer set up to a separate output. So on my Grace, I can just press one button and I can hear the drums. I don't have to, I don't even have to touch the computer. I can, I can obviously like pull it up to see meters, 
but I don't have to open a DAW. I can just get sounds with my ears and go over and turn knobs and, and hear it in real time, which is something I have never been able to do in my own personal studios because I've always had drums in the same room. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Another fun thing about this studio build is we have just the greatest collection of gear. Between Frank and I, Frank's got some cool vintage stuff. We've got an Ampeg B15 flip top, got a Fender Deluxe, Fender Champ, 60s Champ, 60s Princeton, old Fender Bassman. You know, moving studios is always a bit chaotic and a bit stressful, and it's always longer and more expensive than you think it's gonna be. But in the end, it's really exciting to see everything come together. I want to thank you guys for watching these videos, subscribing to this channel. This is this is the newer channel, so it's you know it's growing it's growing pretty well. I think we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, like button. Let me know what you think of the new build, or if you have any questions down in the comments, please let me know. Also, if you're putting together your own studio, you can go to my website at andrewmastermusic.com. You can actually book consultations with me, getting to know you guys and talk to you about your studio build. So if you wanna book something like that, you can go check that out on my website as well as booking remote sessions. I think the session thing's probably gonna get a little out of control in here. Oh yeah, again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. Obviously, if you're in a studio, if you're a musician, a songwriter, and you are setting anything up with your studio. Sweetwater is gonna be the place to get it. You're gonna get the best deals. Their sales engineers can give you the best deals on gear. And if you wanna check out any of the stuff that I have in this setup, I have a bunch of links down in the description. I've curated a bunch of lists based on categories of outboard gear, preamps, or guitar stuff, or drum stuff, mic stands, all, all of that. Go check down in the description. Those links will take you to sweetwater.com. Affiliate links, if you buy anything, that's a great way to support this channel. I get a small commission on whatever you're already getting from there at no extra cost to you. Thank you to Music City Acoustics for just kicking ass on this build out. I'll put a link to Music City Acoustics as well if you want to reach out to them and get any quotes or just order some panels for your studio. They've really figured this thing out. And the, if you're local in Nashville, you can actually have them come and install it as well, which is amazing. That was definitely my favorite part was watching them put in all this treatment. And then obviously the results, I mean, I can't believe I cannot believe how great they sound. So yeah, link to Music City Acoustics down in the description. I'm sure we're gonna be having a lot of fun in this studio. So make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you in the next video.